hope you can hear me. I'm in uh, the woods here and I'm doing this because it's a form of self-care. I really needed to take care of myself this morning. I had a rough day yesterday and I'm going to share it with you because I think you might be relating to this or you might relate on some level. Have you ever felt frustrated because you knew it was best for somebody else but they were clearly self-sabotaging and no matter how hard you tried to help them they weren't wanting to be helped it can it can feel really paralyzing and sad and it can literally make your heart break so I had that happen to me and it's happened before I know the feeling I'm very familiar with it but there comes a time when I and you have to just accept that this isn't my problem and it's everyone's on their own journey and it's more important for me or you to take care of myself and in doing that I will be able to be more effective and enjoy my life more and it brings me to this prayer that I love so much which is the serenity prayer it's such a powerful prayer and I actually saw it in my grandmother's house when I was a little girl and I read it and I thought it was kind of interesting but I was so young I couldn't really put two and two together but I remembered the vision of it on her wall and I so relate to that prayer so it must be an ancestral thing with me but I think it's a powerful prayer so I'm going to share it with you now and I actually have a picture of it in my office so I pass by it every day when I'm working and it really helps me get back into my own life and try to stop controlling try to stop controlling other things because I really have very little control over other people only and not even completely over myself but I have some level of control over myself and so do you so the serenity prayer is God <clears throat> grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It's so beautiful, so powerful. If you can write it, if, if you relate to this, write it down, or if you see a picture of it, or get something on the internet and put it up and just refer back to it often, it's really a great thing about helping yourself accept your place and what you can do in your life so that you don't get caught off guard and just lose yourself. I hope this helped you. I know it helped me. I'm here relaxing in nature, listening to the birds and the wind and the trees and getting hopefully not bit up too much, but I hope you guys are having a great day too. Take care. Bye-bye.